Alright, so what's up boys and girls? My name is John Horton, 2008 Olympic silver and bronze medalist. I'm going to start a little uh, YouTube page showing you guys a little bit about myself and what I like to do. First thing with my page is I'd like to show you guys some of my hobbies. So my first hobby, of course, uh, as a lot of you know, is motorcycles. So uh, for all you motorcycle fans out there, this one's kind of for you. Uh, just want to show you guys what's up. It's kind of a new hobby I've gotten into. I've got two bikes. One for my wife, who really enjoys riding as much as I do, and one for me, of course. So uh, let's take a look at what we got going on here. Alright, so first of all, we have my wife's bike, which is the brand new 2011 black and white Suzuki GSX-R600, which is a phenomenal motorcycle. Uh, I mean, everything about it is just fantastic. I know there's not a whole lot of videos out there about it right now because it's so new. Um, seen a couple other people's. Haven't seen one of these on the road yet. And uh, there's a lot of motorcycles here in Houston. So, you know, to not see one is, uh, you know, makes this one pretty rare. And what's even more rare about it is my wife is only four foot eleven. So we literally had to lower this thing two and a half inches in the back and an inch in the front. And uh, you can really tell how low it is. It's kind of made the ride a little rough, um, but it works for her. She can get her feet on the ground pretty well. And we had to actually go to Suzuki and have a custom lowering link for this thing. And um, because, I mean, it's so new, they haven't designed it yet. And, um, you know, I think it looks good. You know, they, of course, you know, Handling is, is, is much different when you lower a bike, um, but, you know, it's worth it for her. You know, we've been riding for about a year now, and we actually started out with Ninja 250s, which were great bikes to learn on, but as anybody knows, you get bored with 250 really, really fast, and um, so we, moved, we bumped up to 600s, and I couldn't be more happy with it. Um, of course, there is a break-in period with this bike. Uh, I think it's 600 miles. Go get the first oil change, and you're not supposed to ride it hard for a while. So, haven't totally tested out the true performance of this thing. I know it's uh, a phenomenal bike, and it's probably more power than anybody could ever need. But looking forward to checking it out, testing it as soon as we hit that 600 mile mark and get that first oil change. Show you guys a little bit of what we've, we've done. Um, not done with the bike by any means. Still want to get a different screen for it. But they haven't come out with one yet, so I want to get a smoke screen, something pretty dark. Um, not going to need to do flush mounts or anything like that, because luckily Suzuki has the turn signals on the uh, rearview mirrors, so that's good. Um, let's see, the exhaust change that up we got the uh, M4 shorty which sounds really good I'll let you guys hear that in a minute um, it looks really really sharp on the bike I wasn't a big fan of the stock one it didn't sound as good I like a mean sounding bike and um, I like this one I don't like big exhaust as you'll see later on my bike the exhaust comes out the tail end which I think is best for a motorcycle but this one looks good I'm happy with it I'll try to show you guys a little more of how it looks from the side uh, looks sharp. I like it a lot. So, um, what else have we done? We're gonna put some, um, frame sliders on them. You never know when you might accidentally drop the bike. Don't want to have too much damage. But we've also got the, uh, carbon fiber seat cowl in the back. Nobody's ever gonna ride behind her, and she doesn't like riding behind me. So, we don't really need, um, a seat there. So we got rid of that. And I'm planning on taking off the passenger side foot pegs on both of our bikes soon. And, uh, Think about maybe changing up her rims. Not getting different ones, but maybe uh, powder coating them black or white. I think that'd look pretty sharp. Um, you know, there's a lot of black carbon fiber on the bike, and I'm thinking black would look really, really good instead of the the silver. And um, don't really have to do anything with the with the rear turn signals or anything like that, like on my bike. Um, just because you know you want to you want to have the back end looking pretty good and doing the fender eliminator I mean we literally just kind of take the fender off of this one and put a different license plate holder on so um, actually had to buy a, well not buy a new kickstand but 
have a custom kickstand made for this thing since it was so much lower. We literally cut this thing uh, and had to re-weld it because, like I said, such a new motorcycle that they haven't designed any new parts for this thing. Um, which I'm sure they will eventually. But uh, that's pretty much the bike. I mean, it rides great. It looks great. Um, and I'll let you guys hear what it sounds like. So here we go. Display is really cool. I enjoy the display. Let's see. I don't even know what gear I'm in. There we go. Hold on one second. So, sounds really good. It's got a pretty mean sound to it. It's been warmed up already. Kind of rode it around a little bit today, so I'll let you guys check it out, see what it sounds like. pretty mean I like it so I'm gonna turn this thing off and uh, Take you guys over to my baby, which is the 2008. I know it's 2008, but it's actually brand new. I'm the first owner. 2008 CBR 600, Honda CBR 600. Um, awesome bike. I absolutely love it. Uh, a lot of people are saying that this Jixer over here actually is a better bike and looks better, which. I'd have to agree it is a better bike, but this one fits me perfect, and I love everything about it. It's um, just a phenomenal bike. I love to ride it. It's comfortable. Um, I actually lowered mine half an inch. I'm a pretty short guy. I'm only 5'1", but I can get my feet just about flat on the ground. It's a comfortable ride, and um, this thing has so much power you know that's one of the things that's great about this bike unlike the Jixer is that Jixer is such a smooth bike which most most people really like it rides smooth it shifts smooth I mean there's no jerkiness to it the CBR has a little bit of uh, you know it's got that feeling like come on let's go you know it, it wants to go you know when you hit about 3500 rpms uh, I mean it, it kind of jerks forward it's just I mean this thing has so much untamed power and I haven't actually even hit 600 miles on this yet either but eh, doesn't really matter the owner's manual says to take it easy for the first 300 so I've been riding pretty hard lately um, done a few things to it as well uh, I got the fender eliminator back here with the carbon fiber Yoshimura RS5 pipe sounds phenomenal uh, really like how it sounds looks good um, you know, the fender is, uh, pretty happy with it. Um, you know, it's not as clean as the back of some bikes look, but I like people to actually see that I'm braking, so I wanted people to see my brake lights. Um, so I think it looks, looks pretty good. It's a lot better than, you know, having that old, you know, the original fender on it. Um, also planning on getting a seat cowl for my bike, since my wife, like I said, doesn't like to ride behind me anyways. Um... And I'm going to remove those foot pegs also because I don't really like how they look. But, um, let's see this piece right here that says CBR. is actually a, it doesn't come original on the bike. It's supposed to be black, but I had it taken from another bike and put on. It was actually the guy I bought it from did that for me and it looks much, much better. I really like it. i um, going to get some flush mounts. I'm not sure what kind or when. Maybe somebody who's watching this video can... Uh, help me out with what maybe I should get. Thought about getting some HIDs. Um, 
also again not sure what to do there or when I want to get them but I'm you know I'm happy with the lights that are on there right now uh, did get the smoked uh, windscreen love it I think uh, windscreen makes a bike look totally different and uh, definitely changed the look of this one um, again it's kind of funny just because we're short tiny people um, had to have a custom um, stand made for this bike um, and I mean it looks totally different than the regular one I know the stands for them isn't it really a big deal but I think it's kind of funny that both of us have custom stands um, but let's see what else I mean I haven't really done anything else to it I've got you know both bikes have of course the carbon fiber tank protectors on them it's a must uh, you don't want to be scratching your paint on your on your pretty bikes so um, I mean, it's a it's a phenomenal motorcycle. I love it. Uh, I mean, I'm sure one day I'll want some more power than this thing has. Uh, you know, maybe go up to a leader bike or something like that. But honestly, this is as much power as I could ever need at the moment. I mean, I, weighing a buck thirty. I mean, I get plenty of power out of this thing. You know, it's a, kind of different for a guy that weighs 200 pounds. But when you only weigh 130, you and your wife tend to get quite a bit of performance and power out of a 600 motorcycle. So. Um, really like it. You know, there are a lot of people out there. I'm sure you're gonna watch this video and go, both those bikes suck. You know, you're probably into you know something else. I know there's a lot of people that love the Triumph and the Kawasaki's and stuff. But um, I think both of these are super nice motorcycles. They look great, sound great. Give you guys a little bit of a taste of how mine sounds. Let me start it up for you. As hers it's warmed up for any of you guys out there that would go wow I can't believe he's revving it and it's cold bike it's nice and warm so here you go I think I read this was the number one bike of 2008. So as of right now, pretty happy uh, to say that I have the best bike from 08 and what some are saying is the best bike from 2011. Both great, sound good as I said, ride good. I recommend both of these bikes to anybody who's interested in motorcycles. Everybody out there that is watching this video I'm planning on making some more of these as I said I'm gonna start uh, my own YouTube channel most of my videos will be gymnastics videos with me and my training buddies down at Cypress Academy here in Houston Texas uh, I got some good stuff to come have some routines some training videos some strength videos uh, show everybody a little bit of what we do down in uh, down in Texas so uh, I want to say thank you guys for watching thank you guys a ton for watching uh, it's been fun and uh, hope you guys come back and watch the rest of them give you guys one more look at the bikes I know I've been videotaping them forever and you guys are probably sick of watching them by now unless you're as much of a, as a fanatic as I am um, but there you go. It's my hobby. It's what I do when I'm not in the gym. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.